Hey guys, and welcome back to Ellie Knows Rocks. I am here in beautiful South Greenland, and it is absolutely phenomenal. That big white mass back there, that is a gigantic glacier. And I will be hiking up to that ice sheet. So thank you so much for being part of my adventure. And let's go see what we find. I found this freaking hilarious and you should pause and read what they all are. And while I was waiting to go on my big hike to the ice sheet, I of course visited the museum and why not look at a bunch of garbage because it is one of my favorite things to do. And yes, it's treasure to me. Anyways, before I got all locked up in quarantine and whatnot, because that's what happened during my first week in Greenland, I was supposed to leave to go to this beautiful ice sheet just four days after arriving in Greenland. Did that happen? Nope. I was stuck in my room for a full 12 days. Needless to say, I was pulling my hair out and trying to do crazy things like learning to juggle and talking to myself in the window. But after that, I finally got to escape. So part of this, you're gonna see just a bunch of hiking, me looking at the rocks and the beautiful, beautiful scenery. <laughs> and this is how fun it is to watch the crew come walking around in the bushes when they just filmed us. I <laughs> know they can't figure out how to get through. <laughs> <laughs> They're from the mean streets of London. I know. So you will see lots of the crew struggling to do multiple things. <laughs> it's awesome though, right? <laughs> Every time I saw a rock, Karen, while I was in Greenland, I picked up a new rock and put it on there just so that I could make my mark on Greenland as well. And what we're walking up to right now is a giant glacial river. The water is a creamy, almost milky blue color because of all of the minerals and dirt and sand that is melting off from the glacier and creating this giant river. Apparently you can get huge currents within there and they can be quite dangerous to cross. So we have to find alternate crossings. It's our filming crew and hopefully they get over the water. Now, literally when you're looking at this, you're probably thinking, gee, that doesn't look that bad, but we're carrying giant backpacks on our backs. The camera guy in the middle there is carrying a humongous camera, very expensive, and a giant stinger on his back so that he can use the camera in motion. This was a difficult task. Woohoo! Yeah. It's pretty wet. Yeah, it's wet. <laughs> we made it. Oh, we made it. Wet. Ow. Yeah, get in here, it's trying here. Yeah! <laughs> Getting so much closer towards the glacier. And that little waterfall, we're gonna walk right up by that waterfall. Straight up the hill. There's a little tiny scar of a trail that you can see. That's what we'll be taking. Isn't that crazy? This right here is just a giant field. <laughs> a river coming from the glacier. A little lake right there. Wow, that's amazing. Ooh, we're walking up that trail. Little bitty one. So that stream, the waterfall. The striations on this rock were created from a glacier sliding over the top of it. The rocks that were trapped within the ice of the glacier made these striations thus calling them glacial striations.
<laughs> Look at that. Look at that stunning waterfall. Huh. Isn't that amazing? Everybody's over there trying to set stuff up. And the glaciers that way. We are climbing. Along here, we've just been walking along the side of the, the creek. Oh, I hope I don't have to take off my shoes. And yes, we totally had to take off our shoes. It sucked. We actually had to do it twice. This was the safest area for us to cross that had the least amount of like high water in it. But I could not get enough of the scenery. And the bugs were real horrible. They kept flying underneath of my sunglasses. I wanted as much personal documentation as I could get. Now here we go, starting the big climb. <laughs> now the way this worked is I would go ahead for a little ways and then the camera crew would catch up and then sometimes the camera crew would go ahead of us and then film us walking up the hill. It was a vice versa yeah, kind yeah. of a thing, but it was very cool. Oh, do you want me to like grab it? Or? We also took turns hauling the camera up the hill because it weighed so freaking much. I'll take my bag and you take the phone. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Find the gap. When I went to London, that was the funniest thing ever when I got yeah. uh, under, for the underground. Yeah, but if you get on some of the older lines, there's a big gap. Yeah, they mean it. <laughs> yeah, it was intense. You have to take a loo, right? One of the oldest lines in London. <laughs> Find the gap. <laughs> Look at that view. We walked all the way around the base of that hill and beside that little stream coming over here so that we weren't anywhere next to the river. Look at that beautiful dike going up there. <laughs> like two of them. I've got the GoPro on me. <laughs> Having a snack of dried apricots while we stop just to take a little bit of a breather. If I had a smaller bag, it wouldn't be hard to have it on the, over the shoulder. Yeah. The thing is, it's hard to carry it around. Yeah. Uh, but this is just too big to have it over the shoulder because I have to walk over this. Yeah. Uh, and also when we go to the east, we have to be very mobile. Okay. Because uh, if there is a polar bear... Yep, that was correct. Polar bears in the east. And we're going way up there still. Whoa! There is a huge lake up here! <laughs> Holy crap, that's cool! Which way do we go? Right? Okay. Wow! That's fantastic! This is a giant alpine glacial lake surrounded by some beautiful oh granitic gosh. and pegmatitic rocks all have been carved out and shaped by the glacier. I had no words. I was completely <gasps> breathtaking. <laughs> That's amazing. Look how freaking big that is. So Leek, do we have to go that way? We go this way. <laughs> right? That giant white spot over there is the ice sheet. Wow. 
I couldn't be more excited to get closer to it. Right about now, we're hitting eight o'clock in the evening. We still have to find camp and make camp. And eat some food. <laughs> oh. I have a little thing right here. Please don't be full of water. Sweet. To this other lake. We barely have this little bitty path before that lake like overflows. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it was going to look like? I didn't, I didn't yeah? I had a feeling it would look like this, cause, but, but, I mean, this is fantastic. Like, I, this is the type of stuff, because I've backpacked um, uh, Yosemite. Have you? Yeah. It goes all the way to the north of Greenland. And the piece of ice, you get on there now, ski all the way to the <laughs> I'm even closer to the ice sheet now, just creeping up to the top to see it. Isn't this a beautiful sight? <laughs> it just takes my breath away. Once we got to the top of the hill and we all decided where to sleep, I didn't get to film too much of me putting up my tent or the campsite because I was too busy using the GoPro for the actual part of filming Frozen Gold. But when we finally got to camp, it was about 11 p.m. and the sun isn't even remotely close to going down yet. I was just stunned at seeing this beautiful area. This is massive. I felt so extremely blessed in this moment to be seeing this. Wasn't well, that spectacular? This was a dream come true to hike up to an ice sheet. And this one's attached to the main ice sheet that crosses all of Greenland. You can eat them, not the green ones, but the blue ones. Isn't that cool? Yep. They're not that bright yet. So I'm eating the berries, no joke. Oops. This is the polar bears, my main food source in the summertime, actually. Really? Wait, what berries are? Hmm? Yeah, I was to Greenlandic. Viagra. That's hilarious. And then there's Cats. Greenlandic Cats. thyme. It's purple Somalia. flowers. Cats. They make tea out of them. Isn't that cool? Now this is bright and early in the morning, and we're about to walk down this hill to get as close to the ice sheet as possible so that I can take some geologic samples, look at the rocks around me, and then try to pan for gold. Total walking distance at this point was eight miles. <laughs> In case you couldn't tell from the sound of my voice, I was on an absolute high from being here. It was so exciting and freeing just to be walking around a different country looking for ice and rocks and gold. This is literally a geologist's dream, traveling the world looking at rocks. That's it. That's it. That that's the whole thing. Yeah, like yeah, it's, it's tiny, wow. tiny little part of it. <laughs> but 
Oh man. Wow. Little xenoliths in the rocks and Holy crap. <laughs> Made it as close as we can get to this one. Yeah, we won't get The water is milky blue, full of minerals coming out of the glacier. Is that all rock there then? That's ice. That's ice. Yeah. It's just dirty. That's why you don't want to drink the water. So underneath that is the second thing. Yeah, I guess long way down to bedrock. It kind of... Yeah, how thick is the ice sheet? What? How yeah. thick is it? Like the thick, just right. part of it? Sorry. Yeah, like right here. How thick do you think it is? I don't know, 500 meters. Well, even that one's thick enough, isn't it? Yeah. No. Some parts of it. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> like when you get, you see, it goes up here. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah. And then when you get further up, it's deeper. It's deeper, yeah. Yeah. But here, I don't, I don't know actually. Maybe 100 meters. Wow. Then, but it's, it's. We had already spent a lot of time on the ice sheet, and when we started to walk out, it started to rain on us super heavy. So I didn't really do much filming after this. I have more Greenland adventures to come. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one.